Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you, just for you and I'm back with another Martin and this one is the Performance Artist Series uh, Martin that just arrived Yesterday when it arrived, the action was relatively high it was really unplayable from the 3rd fret all the way to 12th and uh, partly because of humidity, this was swelling and the neck was like that, you know and so it's unplayable so I managed to fi fix this sort this out and uh, let's get this review started basically it's a omca uh omca1 plus okay plus what's the difference between plus and this the uh basically you have a om shape uh om shape uh, uh guitar and this comes with a cutaway and it's a hybrid scallop uh bracing on this guitar be below which is one inch from the sound hole you get abalone uh, rosette sitka spruce top back and side says good old indian rosewood really lovely uh, indian rosewood and what this one has is the wood binding on this guitar the whole guitar is bound with ovanco ovanco it looks a little bit like um, so it gives you that lovely contrast just let you have a look at the, i don't know where you can see it, the lovely contrast between the dark uh, indian rosewood and a slightly brownish a light brownish uh, like a a mode car color uh, on on this and also on the neck um, it's bound with a purfling lines and also the head plate the head plate is bound with uh, it's a basically a black ac acrylic with the martin um cf martin which is beautiful and a slightly more square um um, um head plate with the gold die cast tuners on this the martin die cast tuners as your your bridge and your fretboard is not the uh, ebony black ebony but rather this product called rich like which is actually is like a tabletop korean tabletop on on your kitchen and it's relatively hard it's really hard and looks black and um for me is uh, when you straighten the neck you don't get that 14 fret hum that you normally see with the wooden uh, um guitars on the martin sometimes you see a it goes straight and then it goes dip up or down on on this 14 fret here this 14 yeah 14 fret here joint uh partly because this rich light product is it's way much denser and harder than your uh normal uh this uh, wood wood uh species Okay, um, I fitted this, uh, it comes with the also the F1 uh, Aura system, which sounds really, really beautiful. Uh, it captures a uh, really uh, great uh, tone that is on this guitar. And when I plucked it in, I, I personally like uh, this pickup system. And you get plastic bone pins on this. The saddle is a TAS saddle with the, the uh, bone nut on this guitar. Uh, but uh, I've upgraded the saddle to a compensated uh, unbleached bone give it a little bit more sustain more organic tone that you hear and this is fitted with the elixir 1253 likes pbs that the uh, owner requested so let's get this review started you get the performance artist uh, uh, pick guard on this guitar and how does it sound how does it sound let's listen to how does it sound really balanced really balanced uh, sounding guitar a lot of punch, I would say a uh, very punchy, very crisp. That's that's in how it sounds.
fact that this is just a Chinese song with a nice riff. sounding guitar, beautiful sounding guitar. This is some finger picking style, man. Notice uh, because this one is more of a stage guitar, uh, the braces with the five sixteen uh, inches wide uh, braces that is scalloped, but they build it slightly heavier a little bit so that 
um, compared to let's say an OM21 or OM28 which has much more overtones because um, when you have more overtones uh, generally when you play live you're going to get uh, probably a little bit of that feedback issues or feedback challenges that you might uh, might get so that's that's why sometimes for some of these guitars whether it's a Yamaha AC3 uh, they brace it so that there's less uh, overtones you still get that crisp tone, crisp, crisp, crispy tone, crispy travels. The bass is slightly subdued, a little bit more contained, um, not so airy bass. Because once you get a lot of the airy bass, a lot of mids, and that's where it would firstly the mids of the piano would, would clash with the mids of the guitar. And normally it's the mids that clash with, uh, with, with we will have uh, feedback issues. So one of the tricks in, or, or the techniques you can do when you're playing live is you get feedback issues. Is just cut the mids and cut the bass from normally generally from 12 o'clock down to about 9 o'clock. Of course, you lose a little bit of organic tone, but when you're playing in a large uh, band setting, you don't need a lot of that bass because that, that is covered by the bass guitar. Okay, so that is one uh, simple tip when playing live. I played quite a bit live uh, and, and this is all my experience. <laughs> song to be played and the most uh, requested song to be taught actually it's a song of Claris which I have it on my channel tutorial one okay so please check on my channel it's under uh, guitar tutorial one okay
MCPA CPA One Plus, a uh, very uh, tremendous, tremendous sounding guitar. Uh, lots of punches on, on this guitar because the way it's braced, so you get just the right amount of overtones that is not overbearing. So when you play live, you don't get that sticky situation where you're put in a situation where you get a lot of feedback. And uh, the F1 Fishman really is probably a step up from the normal Fishman. You get a little bit of that aura modeling that is on this guitar. Uh, Ovanko binding on that corresponds against with the uh, Indian Rosewood. Beautiful Indian Rosewood that is used on this very uh, brownish, dark and, 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 and thin green, uh, tight green on this, this guitar. Um, lovely neck performance, artist neck that is tapered down a little bit here. So when you play... It, it, most of the necks are, are like fatter just from the thicker and fatter from the uh, fifth fret onwards but this tapered down a little bit so that when you go up especially when you, you are playing uh, this and uh, it's slightly easier on the fingers because it's a performance guitar so when you play at home uh, generally you're more relaxed and you can practice, you can play. But when you're generally, like say, in, in a camera, I do make a lot of mistakes when I'm playing in front of camera. And also on live situations because you your gear needs to be very easy to play because you can practice 10 times, but you can only deliver maybe 70% when you're playing live, unless you are a pro. But many of us are, are, are let's, let's face it, we're all not pros and we're trying to be pros, but we are pros wanna be, you know? And, and it's tough because playing live and, and you really need to get that gear, that guitar that matches your personality of playing and it's easy on, on your fingers. That's why people like Tommy Emmanuel, I, he has a, a lot of guitars, but he strung his, his uh, guitars live extremely low up to a point where you can hear some buzzing, but he controls it. And he uses 11s on, on uh, 11 instead of 12s on his stage guitars because it's easier to play. Um, if you're playing an, an hour, two hours, you're playing three sets of 90 minutes or three sets of, uh, of one hour is pretty tough. After a whole day, you, you get pretty tired. Yes, good money, but you know, somebody, it, 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 you just gotta, you just gotta pay about for it. And, and, and uh, playing live, it's, it's a different from playing at home and uh, playing just casually right now. Um, of course, when you play at home, you want that, um, beautiful acoustic uh, resonance and, and that's where the height of the guitar uh, uh, of the string balance all this very important you need to balance the trebles and and the bass but when you play live it's all the 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 equipment the mic the pickups that make a lot of difference and the rest is all the physiology how you stand how you smile how you look and how you dress and stuff like that uh it's, that's that's show business for you so if you like this review basically you can actually comment just below this youtube video and if you want to watch more great guitar reviews like this, is to uh, subscribe to this channel because this is a great channel and uh, post on your, on your Facebook, post it on Instagram, post it and, and send it to your friends, WhatsApp, whatever. But this will help because the more you know about, you're more informed about, about the guitar, why the guitar is constructed that way, why the guitar sounds that way and how to match the guitar to your personality and then you'll make better choices. You'll make more informed choices. And don't let those shops uh, tell you what is a good guitar. You can come to my channel that 400 over videos and you can watch them bit by bit. Of course, I try to um, highlight the positive attributes. And once in a while, I highlight a few stuff that I wish uh, the, the manufacturers would improve. So if it's in Singapore, the uh, Martin Guitar Distributor is none other than uh, uh, city music they don't pay me to say this I, I i don't get anything because that way this is a non-biased uh, 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 review but generally i love the mountains i love the gibsons i love the uh, taylors i also love the mcphersons and our, our, our custom guitars like uh, goodall the ryan the olsen um Kronbauer, many of the guitars i just love guitars and i'm a guitar junkie you know okay till my next review because i live with passion play a guitar i love joy peace health then wealth to be multiplied in your life my name is Jarvis. from my life to you as god bless you bye bye